in this context. Okay. Because I put the drums and the bass a little lower, now I have enough headroom. If I had raised the guitar, now I wouldn't be able to bring the vocal over. So let's um, listen to Lysa in solo because that's always fun. Oh babe, I wanna try you on. Cool. All looks a louder than the sounds. For some weird reason that I can't really explain, I feel like um, doing this with her. Hello, everybody. Good morning. A lot of the mixing process is intuition, right? You base it on how it feels at that moment. So, for example, if your assistant brings you a cup of bad coffee, you're going to end up using SSL stuff. If it brings you... If, if, because that's the color. I own a lot of this stuff. I love it. But it's a certain color. If it brings you green tea, you might want to use something clean. <laughs> if you get a bad phone call, you might want to use, I don't know, distortion. You know, That's the way it feels. At least that's the way it feels for me. Maybe I'm a little crazy. I don't know yet. The jury's still out. Oh, babe. So I'm going to high pass her. I wanna try you on. The process here is to try and get rid of the bass drum bleed, but not ruin her vocal. Fair? OK, so I'm going to start really high and then go as low as I can. Oh, babe. I want to try you on. All looks a louder than the sound. I'm going to use the bypass button to make sure I'm not cutting any of her vocal. Oh, babe. That's with. I want to try you on. Without. All looks a louder than the sound. It does remove some stuff, but I kind of dig what it's removing. Maybe I'm going to be a little less Attila ish. There you go. Okay, I like that. I want to try you on. I'm looking for very in your face sound because the whole the whole song is kind of like crazy. So I'm going to put the compressor on and just be all around uncivilized. Oh babe. I want to try you on. That's pretty cool. I look so louder than the sound. I'm going to try the fast attack to see if it does something cool. Oh, babe, I want to try you on. Eh, nah. Thanks for coming. Oh, babe, I want to try you on. I kind of dig that. I'm going to open the top a little bit, the super, super top. Oh, babe, I want to try you on. All looks a louder than the sounds cool. of our hearts a beating. Looks so flat. Oh, babe, I want to try you on. All looks a louder than the sound with. Oh, babe. I want to try you on. All looks a louder than the sounds of our hearts a beating. It's cool, right? So all those little peaks are gone. I've gotten rid of a little bit of the bass drum. That's going to ruin my life later. I uh, have a little bit of thing going because she's got this beautiful thing in her throat. How does it sound when it, we get to the part where she screams? She literally screams. Oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, 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 I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> I can feel it in my soul. I can feel it in my bones. I can feel it in my soul. I can feel it. Oh. So that's a lot more compressed than anything I would do for any kind of different style. But I feel it's delightful for this stuff. Let's listen to it in the context from the beginning. Let's see. Oh, 
Pretty cool, right? So I have a problem with the attacks on her vocal. They still jar me a little bit. So maybe what I should do is I should actually use the fast attack but compress less. Fancy that. I wanna try you on. All looks a louder than the sound. That may work. Of our hearts are beating. Let's see in the context. Looks, they don't need to be read now. We were better when we were fair, and I'm hungry for you. Said I'm hungry for you. Yeah. Oh baby, oh baby, oh baby. And that's the sound, the sound of years of engineers hitting the fast button of the SSR compressor and getting that tone, which we've been listening to, which just year after year after year, we get used to that sound and it becomes a pleasant sound and then it gets into Katy Perry. So the idea is we have been educated to like that sound and we're going to keep that for now. So I think she's a little, obviously she sounds a little dry. She's dry because we recorded her very close to the microphone because there was so much bleed of everything, right? So we're going to recreate, we're going to fake an ambience of sorts. And we'll put the tape echo on her too. Actually, I'm going to keep it mono and put her old school in her line like this and see how that works. Uh, we should start naming these things guitar echo. It's eight seconds to name the stuff. And it's usually 10 minutes to find out what, what was that? <laughs> so I always choose the eight seconds part. Vox Echo. There you go. And this is cool because this actually names automatically names your aux, which is kind of nice. So she sounds like this. I wanna try you on. All looks a louder than the sound. It's cool. Of our hearts are beating. Less, less, but more. Less repeat, more. Looks. They don't need to be read now. We were better when we were fair. And I'm hungry for you. That's a decent 16th note, right? I wanna try you on. Since we got to no click, you're gonna have to trust yourself to figure out the, the time of the delay. You could try and make a tempo map, but we're way, way too lazy to do that. I wanna try you on. All looks louder than the sound. I like that. It sounds kind of right for the style, right? And then I'm thinking uh, reverb too. So I'm going to take an EMT, EMT 140 right here. Uh, but the EMT, I'm probably going to send to a stereo thing. Okay, so now I'm going to be able to decide what kind of reverb I want on her vocal. I want to try you on. All looks louder. Lisa on the water. So I'm going to put less of that. Thank you. I want to try you on. All looks louder than the sound. So this is a crossroads. What am I going to do with this? You know those records from the 60s and 70s where there's way, way, way too much reverb? Those are fun, right? So maybe we should do that because if you don't have fun, what's the point? 
right? So how would it sound if I went obnoxious with a reverb? Problem with doing something like that is that you get a phone call the day after. But uh, I, don't, I don't pick up my phone, so I don't care. <laughs> so let's see. It's fun, but it doesn't work for this one, does it? Let me let me see if it's me, not her. It's not you, honey. It's me. I wanna try you on. I look so louder than the sound of our hearts are beating. It doesn't want to go that way, right? It should go because it's a very good rendition of a plate, and those records were done with too much reverb. But in this particular case, probably because of that. California girl, um, we just don't like it. So let's find something else. I wanna try you on. I look so louder than the sound of our hearts are beating. Looks, they don't need to be read now. We were better. I like that. Yeah. Okay, sold. To the highest better. So we started here with the vocal and the space. I wanna try you on. I look so louder than the sound of our hearts are beating. And this is with the echo. I wanna try you on. I look so louder than the sound. One more thing I could do with the echo is this. Focus on the snare. Since the beginning, and because of some unnamed person in the middle over there, <laughs> <clears throat> I've had an ever so slight problem with this snare. And so now that I want to listen to it, it feels a little raw, right? But I don't want to EQ it. My urge is not to EQ it. I felt that it just needed a little sauce. And so I'm sending it into the same reverb as the vocal. This is without. This is with. Right? Sold. Um, so that's great. I think this is a pretty awesome mix. I would like a little more guitar, probably. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some sauce on it, because I feel that it needs a little more magic. <laughs> 